Here are some developing stories that we're following for you tonight. The pedestrian only zone debuted in DC's Adam Morgan today. At noon, DC police blocked off 18th Street to drivers. So will that increased foot traffic help boost businesses that struggle through the pandemic? Here's our Megan Rivers. One Sunday a month for the next few months, DC will block off the streets in Adams Morgan in an attempt to get more people out walking and into some of these local businesses. We had a chance to speak today with a number of people who say that this is a good new sense of normalcy. Bouncing back from the ongoing coronavirus pandemic has been a plight for Jonathan Escarinam at Johnny Pistola's. You know, we, you know, we tried to do takeout, but we were not established for takeout. And our restaurant wasn't really known as much as our food, but it was really known for being a place where you came and you hang out and the vibe and just meeting people and greeting people. On Sunday in Adams, Morgan, D.C. officials blocked off the streets, turned up the music and allowed people to see the neighborhood on foot. This is such a great street. It's a big street and it's a walkable street. So I think that by closing it down, it should bring a lot more uh, folks to the neighborhood to experience Adams, Morgan. I mean, I personally think Adams Morgan is the best neighborhood in D.C., but I'm, I'm biased. No matter what you were looking for, there was something for everyone. Even dance lessons taught by Madeline Roger. Being outside just makes it that much better. So being able to do things like we have my cardio hip hop class today, we have some yoga, we have some Bollywood dance that's also hitting the streets today. Sunday street closure was the first of three planned Sundays. This section of Adams Morgan along 18th Street is home to 60 bars, restaurants, stores, and a place of worship inside the District of Columbia Arts Center. Shawnee Johnson hopes the foot traffic will bring in new people. It's been really refreshing to be able to worship with other people face to face and and, and laugh and look them in the eye and, and just really have that connection. And once their service was over, she and her friend Sydney Meadows were able to walk down the block safely for brunch. I love walking. I love walking the streets. You, I think that's kind of when you discover more things that are like around you when you're just walking because as you're like driving, you can just drive by things really, really quick and like not. Reporting in Adams Morgan, Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.